This is then almost finished preparation with the rubber dam. Some people ask us, for example, how can we uh, evaluate the position of the finish line cervically when you work with a rubber dam? And the answer is pretty simple. There are two basic ways how can you evaluate the, the position of your finish line. The first, you just prep with the rubber dam, let's say superficially, and then you take out the rubber dam. Then you can see the soft tissues, and then you can, uh, you can uh, put the retraction cord and continue this, your preparation. This is the first option. The second option, which is much more easier, before placing the rubber dam, you can draw initial finish line before you place the rubber dam, and then when you would pull the clamp, for example, once you pull the clamp, you may expect some retraction of the, tooth, uh, of the soft tissues. So this initial prep line will help you to, see, to, to consider where you have to finish your prep with the rubber dam, okay? In this case, we made some kind of soft tissue adjustments because the position of the gingiva was different in two adjacent teeth, I mean in the two centrals. That's why we removed the rubber dam, then I made some uh, electro surgery, I placed retraction cord, and I finished my preparation uh, without rubber dam.